and welcome to the W Osaka. This is the arrival welcome tunnel, one of the coolest entrances in the whole world. This is starting off the most epic Japan trip ever. Six different Marriott hotels in six nights. Let's go. Josh here and I'm at hotel one of six. We're starting in Osaka, we're at the W, we just arrived. We got a welcome drink, complimentary here at the bar, lobby bar. I have to say, this is one of the coolest lobbies I've ever seen in my life. It reminds me of like a spaceship. Like it's so modern, so cool. Even the rival lobby downstairs that you first come into, this place is insane. I can't wait to show you the hotel. We're about to check in, let's go. highest floor 27th floor i'm so excited best view i love these cool pink illuminated lights in front of every single guest room here right away we have a master panel control switch walking into the room itself wow all right w osaka here's the beautiful room i was skeptical at first um, lobby is amazing check-in's amazing but from the pictures the rooms looked like they went a little cheap but i am actually impressed they did not go cheap it's a very very nice room the one thing I do have to note, the bathroom here, it kind of is part of the room itself, so very interesting design. Um, now we do have one small sink here. Normally luxury hotels will have at least two sinks for rooms with the two beds. Um, this one does only have the one tiny little sink, so keep that in mind, it does have a little bit of counter space, but it is gonna be a much smaller area than normal. We do have amenities in here as well, and a tub and shower combo with true rainfall shower in here it's a very like dark design here that kind of goes to more light in the bathroom so just kind of the tile on the floor the shower it's, it is very luxurious um, it is very nice it's not just flat walls it's actually very nice material here now the toilet is completely separate that's over here so there was the front door here's the toilet room it has its own separate light um, but the toilet here and it also has interesting tiling in there as well with the fancy Japanese toilets with all the buttons control panel. Okay, so this is the sliding door that actually completely separates the bathroom from the room. So it's a very interesting design. Most hotels have like a barn door separating it. This has a full on door that actually covers the whole length of the room. First hotel I've ever been at, black robes. And these are thick and soft and velvety. Amazing, I can't wait to wear these. You will not wanna miss out on these robes if you stay here. The room itself, wow, it's sunset. And um, it is very simple. There is a flat wall there with just something on it. So that is not something I'm a fan of, but everything else is making the room amazing. Especially my eye goes right over here. This is one of the coolest looking mini bars I have ever seen. With this cool mirror here, with these drinks down below, we've got some drinks in here, some other amenities, um, the awesome Nespresso machine. Those are the high end machines, but definitely that area, we have a little stool seat up here and they did have an amenity waiting for us in a room with a little couple treats, which is very special. Now next to the beds itself, this is the room with the two double beds. They also have the room configurations with the one king. We have this really cool little lamp here. You know me and lighting. I just love when there's special lights like this and everything is controlled here by this, uh, control panel. So I just turned it on. You can turn it off and you can control all the lights in the whole room there. Behind the beds, you also have a backlit light. That wall art has a special light on it, as well as up top there by the air conditioning, it has another light. Now over here, right in front of the two beds, big screen. So that's great. And we actually have two separate closet spaces. We have one over here and then we also have one over here as well. And this one is a little smaller, but it does have an ironing board, um, some slippers. And are these black slippers to match the black robes? If these are black, I'm gonna... <gasps> First hotel I've ever been to with black slippers. You definitely do not wanna miss out on these. If you have not had black slippers and robes, wow. Okay, finally, 
we have an amazing seating area over here, which kind of tops it all off with these really cool looking happy pillows. You've got some different moods here. So you can, depending on your mood, you can arrange the pillows that way. But floor to ceiling windows, it is now, oh, the biggest thing is the curtains are automatic. When we opened the door to the room, they took us to the room, the curtains automatically started opening, which is a really cool feature that you only find in a very select few luxury hotels. Not all of them have that. So that right away is really big on inspiration. Look at this sunset, floor to ceiling windows, one of the most amazing views in all of Osaka. Okay, so overall, I am really impressed. This hotel might actually get a perfect score for me. We'll see how this service continues, but the room blows my mind. The lobby blows my mind. Everything about this hotel so far is just absolutely incredible. Let's go check out the rest of the hotel. The W Osaka is located in a great location, downtown Osaka, and it is the tall, one of the tallest and only black buildings in the area. It was actually designed by a world renowned Osakan architect. Now this is the arrival entrance, the Port Cochere. It's absolutely gorgeous. We have the W logo there with the pink kind of neon lights inside and a lot of fancy cars. The design of the building on the outside is to be very simplistic, but yet when you head here and you head to the inside, it all of a sudden screams wow with bright colors. Now this is the coolest entrance I've almost ever had. You walk through this incredible pink tunnel. It drew its inspiration from Japanese cherry blossom season. So all the different parts of this hotel, it blends. Japanese celebrated culture and heritage with bold contemporary design. Now this is entering the area by the vehicle station when you first come in. This is where they help you with your bags if they haven't taken them already. They'll also show you to the elevator which then takes you up to the main lobby. But this place is very unique. It actually has a staircase where you can head up. They had some like wedding dresses on display but from the ceiling to the cool architecture to the stairwell, it's just the coolest design I've ever seen. Now I also have to say this this elevator is a five out of five on inspiration. I wish all elevators were this amazing. It literally lights up while you're heading up to the main lobby to check in. We had someone escort us up right up here. We got to sit down, have an amazing check in. And this lobby absolutely was incredible. It's called the living room area and it's a place to hang out. They also have a bar that serves cocktails. You can get afternoon teas. And then some evenings they even had a DJ there performing and the whole place comes to life with music, colors. It's absolutely so inspirational. One of the most inspirational lobbies I've ever had. Now when we checked in, they did service a welcome drink complimentary, which was amazing. I'm not sure if that's because we were high elite status with Marriott or if all guests get that. Now, again, this is living room at night. I took another video. Now this was actually going up to the room. We had to get into another elevator, which also was very uniquely lit. Now the rooms here, there are 337 of them. We did have a standard room, but they did put us on the highest floor overlooking the breathtaking views of Osaka. If you're looking for something with incredible views, modern design, look no further. You will want to stay here. The property also does have suites. They do have one king bed. We do not have a chance to check those out, but they also looked very incredible. Now, this is oh la la this is actually the breakfast area but they also serve lunch and dinner it is french inspired now for breakfast they have a huge buffet it went on and on and of course japanese buffets are some of my favorite in the world because of the noodles rice just so many amazing foods matcha but anyway you can help yourself we'll even make you specialty drinks it's all included if you're marriott platinum titanium or ambassador elite you get two complimentary breakfast per day you can select that as your welcome gift the views were also unmatched and the sophistication and ambiance of the breakfast area was just gorgeous everywhere you looked now this is in the lobby area they had to set up some more food there for breakfast because the main restaurant was so full now this is going into the spa also incredibly inspiring just look at the ceiling look at the walls look at the floor they put so much money into this place but if you're looking for a spa experience I actually would recommend this because it's so inspirational this is the kind of the uh, one two of the treatment rooms there they also have an area that that has like a tub and then uh, like a specialty shower as well as changing rooms. They have men, women's locker rooms, which just seems very beautiful. This was that tub I was talking about, kind of space to kind of get ready before your treatment as well as some shower rooms. Now this is the courtyard area that connects kind of between the spa and the pool. It's just a place to rest, relax. I love the cool umbrella shade things. I love the green uh, garden on the wall that they had. Just so, so cool. This was the incredible pool. I actually did not have a chance to go in, but it looks amazing. Now, next up, we do have the fitness center. Also mind blowing how incredible it was. Floor to ceiling windows. It had some of the best views in all of Osaka. The lighting on the ceiling, it had different rooms. It had incredible bathrooms. It had every equipment you could ever want. It had stretching areas, it had mats. 
absolutely incredible. If you're gonna work out, you will wanna do it in this property. It was so incredible with the stretching area. Now in Osaka, we walked around downtown. It's one of the coolest downtown areas. We did have dinner out and about as well and just an authentic place that we found. We wanted to try it. We also tried these really cool like mochi inspired fruits. Absolutely incredible, I highly recommend. Okay, now for the review of the W Osaka. Let me start off with room five out of five. I thought they went a little cheap on the room from the pictures, but they did not. It's the kind that I like with no walls, except for the wall, of course, behind um, the beds, but everything else, there's no wall. It's like mirror, and then it turns into wood, and then it turns into glass, um, and then it turns into stone in the shower, which goes floor to ceiling. Um, the backlit lighting in the, in the ceiling, in the whole room, and the different levels of the ceiling, room incredible clean i like how there's a uh, carpet and hardwood floor you have a combo in the room i love the mini bar area the, the seat the floor to ceiling windows everything about the room is five out of five next up is going to be inspiration this is the hardest one uh, to get a good score for me but this hotel is going to get a five out of five on inspiration from the rooms to the elevator to the lobby to the breakfast, to the pool, to the spa, to the fitness center, everything has blown my mind with inspiration. Like five out of five, this is one of the best hotels in the whole world. I'm so happy I got to stay here. Next up is gonna be uh, service, five out of five. As soon as we arrived, someone was there taking our bags, showing us to the elevator, sat us down to check in and then took us to check in and then walked us to our room. Our bags were already in our room when they walked us to our room. They had an amenity in the room waiting for us. Everyone has been so kind, so attentive, so accommodating. Every request we've made has been instantly delivered almost. Breakfast was fantastic. The service was great. Five out of five, one of the best hotels in the world for service. Finally, value what I come back. Definitely five out of five. It is so worth it. I can't wait to come back. I'm looking forward to coming back maybe in 2025 for the World Expo here, um, but definitely can't wait to come back. So perfect score hotel. You will not want to miss it. Now, if you're looking to stay here, it's going to be about 350 to 450 US dollars per night on average. The points redemption is going to be about 45 to 50,000 points per night. And then every once in a while, it spikes up to 60 to 65,000. So most of the time it is a good points uh, redemption because you are getting about a penny a point. Um, but overall, incredible hotel. I'm so happy I had a chance to stay here. Uh, please subscribe below so you don't miss my next reviews. If you like this video, please click the like button and please drop a comment below if you have any questions. See you in the next video.